Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Shad PS4 and how to compile it. Yep, we're just going to show you how to compile it. There are instructions right here, but as I've said many times before, people learn visually and others don't. So yeah, we're going to get to that right now. So we're going to start by opening up the terminal. Yes, there is an AUR package, but I tried it last night and it does not compile. So uh, you Arch Linux users are stuck the same as us. Now, these are the packages we're going to be installing. So again, sudo administrator privileges, DNF is the package manager. We're telling it to install uh, that some audio stuff, CMake stuff, and a whole bunch of other QT based stuff, including OpenAL, which is also audio stuff. And there's also Vulkan and more. So we're going to hit enter. And it's going to download stupidly fast and done. And once this is started, what we can do is prepare to clone the repository. And 134 files. My golly. Look at it go. It's done. All right. So we're going to hit paste. And this is git clone. All right. So git. And then that's grabbing the repository. It's cloning the repository. It's grabbing all the things needed to build this project recursively. And then it's that, well, there's the project itself. And then it's CDing it. Okay. And this is going to take a minute because it's got to grab all this external stuff. Yeah. So this thing was uh, is in the state, same state as Rayojinx was in the beginning when it started rendering 3D, which is hilarious because all the games that would work on Rayojinx in the beginning are working now on this, except for Bloodborne and The Last of Us 2 trying to boot up and other stuff. But it's, it's kind of cool to once again jump into a semi-brand new emulator and watch it work. So this is CMake. I don't know what the capital S B stands for, but B, you know, it's doing this all in the build directory. I think stating the dash B makes it build in the build directory or creates the build directory and then builds in the build directory. Uh, I'm not really fully used to CMake and what it does, but yeah, afterwards, uh, we're going to compile this. It shouldn't take very long to either to compile, depending on how many threads and cores you have, of course. But that's a whole nother story. Look at this thing go. Super quick. All right. So next we're going to do CD build and I'm going to just do make dash J uh, 20. And it does say C make dash dash build dot dash dash parallel. But this also seems to work. So we're going to do this instead because I'm used to doing it this way. Now. I have been messing around with this for a little bit, trying to figure it out. It seems you do need some firmware files, but they're not needed at all, which is a bit strange. And I don't know why they say you need them, but it is what it is. Um, well, I have a bunch of games working. I have a bunch more here on my desktop that I want to get working and try out. But I'm just not really sure if it's there yet at the point where testing is really, you know, I, I don't know what they what they're going to do in the next couple of months or days or anything. So it really just depends on if you want to jump in and be like, Hey, this works. That's great. And I want to, but I also want to concentrate on Linux things. You know, there's some stuff I want to do. And we just, I just finished writing a small pointless, stupid guide on Adobe illustrator 2021, uh, which we did get what I, which I did get working on Linux just fine. I had to use a script to do it. It's all there. So I don't know. Uh, I was going to make that into a video, but uh, just not feeling it today. So I decided to do this. There are days when I just don't want to do complicated things, you know, and there you go. So it's built. So we just do shad PS4. As you can see, you just got to give it the, uh, the dot boot and dot eboot. And we're going to throw it one real quick. And I have it all right here. Uh, games. And well, Bloodborne's not going to obviously boot, but Dead Cells will. 
You know what? I'm gonna try try I'm gonna try Diablo 3. Okay, we're gonna try Diablo 3 and see if that boots. And it doesn't, because this thing really doesn't support Fedora at all. Fedora has this weird paging issue going on. So yeah, there I'll link the instructions for other distros below, but Fedora might be killed off today, depending on how I feel. I really do want to get this tested, and if I can't do it on Fedora, well, I have to install Cache OS and do it on there, now don't I? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.